up to 19 of 8 D you have done. Now you see question number 20. This is the second part. 1 plus cos theta plus sin theta by 1 plus cos theta minus sin theta whole square. And you have to show this is equal to 1 plus sin, 1 minus sin. Now here, this one, this 1 plus cos can be taken as A and this part can be taken as B. So if I consider A minus B, we can multiply this one by A plus B. So in the next line you can write 1 plus cos infinity group, 1 plus cos theta minus sin theta. Here 1 plus cos theta you make a group. So 1 plus cos theta minus sin theta you multiply by 1 plus cos theta plus sin theta. So we can apply A plus B, A minus B formula. If you consider this one to be A and this one is B, so it is 1 plus cos minus sin theta. We are multiplying by 1 plus cos plus sin theta. Since we are multiplying denominator by 1 plus cos plus sin theta, in the numerator also we have to do the same thing. So in the numerator, 1 plus cos theta plus sin theta. This one we have to multiply by this. That is 1 plus cos theta plus sin theta. In the numerator also we have multiplied by 1 plus cos plus sin. In the denominator also we have multiplied by 1 plus cos plus sin. And here square is there. So you write third bracket square. Now in the numerator it will be 1 plus cos plus sin. 1 plus cos plus sin. So it will be 1 plus cos theta plus sin theta whole square and here it is a plus b a minus b it will be a square 1 plus cos theta whole square a square minus b square clear a plus b a plus b you got a plus b whole square in the denominator it is a minus b a plus b a square minus b square in the numerator now it is you can write a plus b whole square formula or a plus b plus c whole square. a plus b plus c whole square. It will be a square plus b square plus c square plus twice a into b. a is 1. So we are not writing a square plus b square plus c square plus twice ab plus twice bc. b and this part is c. So twice cos theta into sin theta plus twice ca, twice sin into 1. So we can write twice sin. In the denominator, 1 plus cos theta whole square minus sin square. Now this part, a plus b whole square, it will be a square plus twice ab plus b square minus sin square theta. So in the numerator, we have applied a plus b plus c whole square formula that is s square plus b square plus c square plus twice ab plus twice bc plus twice ca just because it is one so we are not writing and here a plus b whole square s square plus twice ab plus b square minus sin square now in the numerator we know sin square plus cos square is one so we can write one plus one plus two cos theta plus 2 cos theta sin theta plus 2 sin theta and in the denominator it will be 1 plus 2 cos theta plus cos square theta minus sin square theta and just because square is there so we can write here another square here also it will be square here also it will be square next step it will be 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 2 cos theta, here 2 cos theta sin theta, 2 cos theta sin theta plus 2 sin theta plus 2 sin theta. In the denominator you can write 1 plus 2 cos theta plus cos square theta minus sin square theta. For the timing we are not changing it. Now from the numerator, from the first two part, from these two terms, we can take two common. If I take two common, 1 plus cos theta. From these two, I can take two sin theta common. So if I take two sin theta common, 
we are left with cos theta plus 1 in the denominator 1 minus sin squared is cos squared 1 minus sin squared is cos squared so here you write cos squared plus 2 cos theta plus cos squared theta yeah, also again place squared from the numerator 1 plus cos theta can be taken common 1 plus cos theta I have taken common so we are left with 2 plus 2 sin theta and in the denominator cos square plus cos square it will be 2 cos square theta plus 2 cos theta here from the first two I have taken two common so 1 plus cos theta from last two we have taken two sin theta common so cos theta plus 1 here in the denominator 1 minus sin square is cos square plus 2 cos theta plus cos square theta now cos square plus cos square it will be 2 cos square so cos square plus cos square is 2 cos square plus 2 cos theta fine now we can write here you write square 1 plus cos theta then you can take 2 common 1 plus sin theta here it will be 2 cos theta common 2 cos theta common then it will be cos theta plus 1 now cos theta plus 1 cos theta plus 1 can be cancelled 2 then 2 can be cancelled now you write square here so you got 1 plus sin theta by cos theta whole square so we can write 1 plus sin theta whole square by cos square theta this square once we have written here 1 plus sin square theta and for this term cos square theta this can be written as 1 plus sin theta 1 plus sin theta in the denominator cos square theta is 1 minus sin square we know sin square theta plus cos square theta <coughs> equals to 1 so cos square theta will be 1 minus sin square here you write 1 minus sin square theta 1 plus sin theta into 1 plus sin theta we have written here and here a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b now 1 plus sin 1 plus sin can be cancelled we got 1 plus sin theta by 1 minus sin theta and if you see the right hand side this is what we have to prove 1 plus sin 1 minus sin so this is the required right hand side question number 21 see the question 1 minus sin theta plus cos theta whole square equals we have to show 2 1 plus cos 1 minus sin now here 1 minus sin theta plus cos theta here also we can apply a plus b plus c whole square formula this can be written as 1 plus minus sin theta plus cos theta whole square can I a plus b plus c so minus sin can be written as plus minus sin theta so it is a plus b plus c whole square it will be a square plus b square plus c square plus twice ab twice AB 1 into minus sin theta plus 2 is BC minus sin theta into cos theta plus 2 is CA 2 is cos theta into 1 we can write 2 is cos theta so it is A plus B plus C whole square so it will be A square plus B square plus C square plus 2 is AB plus 2 is BC plus 2 is CA here 1 square is 1 minus sin theta whole square is minus minus plus so sin square theta plus cos square theta plus minus minus 2 sin theta plus minus minus 2 sin theta cos theta plus 2 cos theta now 1 sin square plus cos square is 1 minus 2 sin theta plus 2 cos theta minus 2 sin theta cos theta we have just rearranged it this cos theta we have written here and minus 2 sin theta cos theta here now 1 plus 1 it will be 2 minus 2 sin theta plus 2 cos theta minus 2 sin theta cos theta from all the terms we can take 2 common so if I take 2 common we are left with 1 minus sin theta plus cos theta minus sin theta cos theta now 2 we can take one common from these two so if I take one common it will be one minus sin theta from last two I can take cos theta common plus cos theta if I take common it will be one minus sin theta so 
so it will be 2. Now from this term and this term, 1 minus sin theta is common, so it will be 1 minus sin theta. And if I take 1 minus sin theta common, we are left with 1 plus cos, 1 plus cos theta. Now if you see the right hand side, it is 2, 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus sin theta. So this is the required RHS. Second part of question number 21. Question is cosec theta minus cos theta whole square. And you have to show it is 1 minus cos theta by 1 plus cos theta. So cosec theta minus cos theta whole square. Since in the right hand side it is given in terms of cos. So instead of applying A minus B whole square formula. We are going to write cosec theta as 1 by sin theta minus cos theta by sin theta whole square. This cos sec theta we can write 1 by sin minus cos theta is cos by sin. Now LCM will be sin theta. Sin theta divided by sin theta is 1. 1 into 1, 1 minus sin theta divided by sin theta is 1. 1 into cos is cos theta whole square. Now in the numerator we can write 1 minus cos theta whole square and the denominator it will be sin square theta. Now this can be written as 1 minus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta and sin square theta is 1 minus cos square theta. In the bracket you can write since sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1. Since sin square plus cos square is 1, so sin square theta will be 1 minus cos square. Now this can be written as 1 minus cos theta. 1 minus cos theta and the denominator 1 square minus cos square a square minus b square formula will be a plus b into a minus b 1 plus cos into 1 minus cos theta so this can be cancelled so you are left with 1 minus cos theta by 1 plus cos theta and if you see the right hand side this is given so this is required like in question number 22, it is given 1 plus cos theta minus sin square theta by sin theta 1 plus cos theta and we have to get cot theta. Here 1 plus cos theta minus sin square theta by sin theta 1 plus cos theta. Here we can apply one formula 1 minus sin square. We know sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1. Since sin square plus cos square is 1, 1 minus sin square will be cos square. This numerator can be written as cos theta plus 1 minus sin square theta divided by sin theta 1 plus cos theta. Now cos theta 1 minus sin square theta 1 minus sin square theta is cos square theta. So it will be plus cos square theta divided by sin theta into 1 plus cos theta. So denominator we are not changing in the numerator first we have just grouped cos theta here 1 minus sin square now 1 minus sin square can be written as cos square this one since we know this formula sin square plus cos square is 1 so 1 minus sin square will be cos square so 1 minus sin square this will be equal to cos square now from the numerator you can take cos theta common if i take cos theta common we are left with 1 plus cos theta the denominator you write sin theta 1 plus cos theta this 1 plus cos 1 plus cos can be cancelled we got cos by sin and cos by sin is cot so you can write cot theta which is the required r e s now second part of 22 question is sin theta minus 2 sin cube by 2 cos cube minus cos theta and we have to show this is equal to tan theta we know tan theta is sin by cos it is already in terms of sin and cos so we have to take common first now if you see the left hand side sin theta minus 2 sin cube theta by 2 cos cube theta minus cos theta from new uh, from numerator i can take sin theta common from numerator i can take sin theta common and from the denominator i can take cos theta common so from here if i take sin theta then it will be 1 minus 2 sin square theta and from the denominator, if I take cos theta common, it will be 2 cos square theta minus 1. Now, sin by cos, sin by cos is 10 theta, so 10 theta we got. Now, 1 minus 2, this sin square theta we can express in terms of cos theta. 
because in the right-hand side it is 10 theta, 10 theta already we got, that means somehow we have to cancel. It's not that I2 you can cancel like this, we have to cancel logically. So 1 minus 2 sine squared is 1 minus cos squared theta. Denominator now 2 cos squared theta minus 1 is left. Because now 10 theta 1 minus 2 1 ja, 2 minus minus plus 2 cos squared theta. In the denominator it will remain same. So it will be 2 cos square theta minus 1. So it will be 10 theta 2 cos square theta 1 minus 2. 1 minus 2 will be minus 1 by 2 cos square theta minus 1. Now these two can be cancelled. So we got 10 theta which is the required right hand side. RHS. First part of question number 23. Here it is given 1 minus 10 square theta by 1 plus 10 square theta. And you have to show it is cos square minus sine square. Since in the answer or in the right hand side it is given in terms of cos and sine. So we are going to convert this 10 and this 10 in terms of sine and cos. So this can be written as 1 minus instead of 10 square we can write sine square theta by cos square theta. In the denominator we can write 1 plus sine square theta by cos square theta. LCM will be cos square theta. So it will be cos square theta. Now cos square theta by 1 is cos square. It will be cos square theta minus sin square theta. In the denominator, LCM will be cos square theta. Cos square by 1 is cos square. Cos square into 1, cos square theta plus sin square theta. This is the numerator, this is the denominator can be written as cos square theta minus sine square theta by cos theta by cos square theta divided by cos square theta plus sine square theta divided by cos square theta. Now we can write cos square theta minus sine square theta by cos square theta into this one if I convert this division sign into multiplication then it will be cos square theta by cos square theta plus sin square theta this cos square and this cos square can be cancelled so you got cos square theta minus sin square theta divided by sin square plus cos square is 1 so it will be 1 that means we got cos square theta minus sin square theta which is a required right hand side. Clear? And second part of question number 23, you try it yourself.